Hi everyone, today I brought a very good question from the chapter Work Energy Power in class 11. A spherical object of mass 60 kg is dropped from a very large height. Since it is dropped from rest, initial velocity will be 0. Its speed at every 1 second interval is recorded. So they are measuring the speed after 1 1 second and is represented in the velocity time graph. For y-axis, they are using velocity and for x-axis, they are using time. But the experimenter, the person who is doing the experiment, he forgot marking velocities. What it means is, though he has put mark, he has forgotten to put the values, the value of velocity for one division. The line AB is a tangent to the graph at instant t equal to 5 seconds. What is the power of a resistance at time t equal to 5 seconds. At what time they want t equal to 5 seconds. So clearly they want instantaneous power, right? Acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second square. Now whenever we want to calculate power, we must know we are calculating power of which force because power is defined as work done by time taken, right? And work is always done by a force. So therefore, whenever we calculate work done, we should know we are calculating work done by which force. Similarly, whenever we calculate power, we should know we are calculating power of which force. Here in this question, they are asking power of a resistance. So the force that we have to remember to use here is the force on the body by air, right? Now, initially the body was dropped. So its initial velocity is zero. So the only force acting will be the gravitational force mg, right? There won't be any force from air resistance. Why? Because unless we move, we don't feel air resistance, isn't it? So therefore, since this body right now is having zero velocity, here right now at this point, its air resistance is zero. So the force of air right now is zero. But as it moves, after some time, it will gain some velocity. So there will be some air resistance in the opposite direction and there will be mg, right? Now at this instant, let us say the acceleration is a downwards. So how to write Newton's law here? Please understand why I'm using Newton's law because to calculate power, I need to first find the force. And here they are asking power of air resistance. So we need to calculate force of air resistance, right? and the graph of velocity time is given and from velocity time graph we can find acceleration how acceleration is what slope of vt graph right so here from this graph we can find acceleration and from newton's second law we can calculate a resistance right so let us apply newton's law to this net force equals to ma in the downward direction you can see the acceleration is so net force also should be downward so mg should be greater than the air resistance. So this is the net force which is equals to mass into acceleration. So from here air resistance will be, this will go here, this will come here. So mg, m can be taken common. So this is the formula for the air resistance in terms of acceleration. Now, since they want power of air resistance, Power is what? Force times velocity. No need to write cos theta because this is one dimensional motion. So in one dimensional motion, we don't have to put cos theta. Of course, the force of A resistance is up, whereas the velocity is down. So there should be a minus sign because the angle between these two is 180 degree. So cos of 180 degree will come and cos of 180 degree will be minus 1. So minus of F times B. So this is the power of air resistance. Remember, the force here should not be mg because we are not calculating power of gravitational force. We are calculating power of which force? Air resistance. So that will be minus, what is the force of air resistance? m g minus a times v. Now, look at this formula. From this graph, you can see v is increasing. After some time, it is becoming constant but it is increasing during this interval, right? Also, you can see the acceleration, which is the watt of Vt graph. 
acceleration is the slope of v degree so as you move from here to here even the slope is changing so this is also changing this is also changing therefore the power will change with time because with time these two are changing that's why in the question they have asked what is the power of a resistance at which time t equal to 5 seconds now to find the power at t equal to 5 seconds what i need to do find velocity and acceleration at t equal to 5 seconds then we can just substitute but there is a problem and this problem makes this question very interesting the problem is whoever was plotting this graph he has not given us the value of one division of velocity though i know at t equal to 5 it will have a certain velocity which corresponds to how many divisions if you check the graph it corresponds to eight divisions so from here to here is eight divisions of this velocity but the problem is we don't know this velocity right so we cannot calculate what is the velocity at t equal to 5 but we know it corresponds to eight divisions from the given graph also to find acceleration will be difficult because for acceleration at t equal to 5 seconds we know acceleration is slope of vt graph isn't it and how do you find slope of vt graph tan of angle which the tangent makes at that point so since i want to know acceleration at this particular time i want to know at this particular point on the graph so i draw a tangent so now I just need to calculate tan of this theta, isn't it? That is how we calculate slope in differentiation, right? So now, how to find this tan theta? The opposite side corresponds to 6 divisions of velocity. So I have already seen the graph properly. So I advise all of you to see the original graph and check how much this corresponds to. So this corresponds to 6 divisions. So on the on the opposite side of this triangle, this is six divisions, right? Now since they have not given one division is how much, let me assume myself one division is equal to v naught, which we don't know. The experimenter forgot to put the value only, right? So if this is having six division and one division is v naught, so this will be equal to six v naught. So opposite side of this triangle is 6 v naught and the adjacent side now if you look at the adjacent side this corresponds to 1 and this corresponds to 9 if you look carefully so from 1 to 9 this corresponds to 8 seconds remember time is given in seconds so 8 seconds so we found the acceleration so this is the acceleration at this instant t equal to 5 so we found acceleration at t equal to 5 right 5 seconds what would be velocity as you can see velocity can be seen directly from the graph right because the y axis is velocity itself so at t equal to 5 what is the velocity it corresponds to 8 divisions if you check the graph carefully so 8 divisions would be equal to 8 v naught so this would be velocity at t equal to 5 seconds so we can write minus m g minus a is 6 v naught by 8 times v is 8 v naught right and that's your equation 2 now the question is how do i calculate v naught because if i don't know v naught i cannot calculate the power well the clue is in the graph itself if you look at this part of the graph it looks straight line and if the graph is straight line we know the slope is constant and here the slope is acceleration only later the slope starts decreasing but at least in this interval you can see 0 to 1 you can see the slope is constant right but why it is constant well it's easy to understand you remember right initially i told you that there will be no air resistance because initially at least for one two seconds the body has not gained enough velocity it just started from rest so the air resistance can be neglected right initially so the only force acting is mg and if the only force is mg then from newton's law f equals to ma so acceleration will be equal to g 
So for the initial period, the acceleration is g, which means the slope of this graph is g. Now what is the slope of this graph? Well, look from 0 to 1, how many divisions of velocities are there from the graph. If you look carefully, from 0 to 1, the number of divisions on the y-axis corresponding to this point is 2 divisions. Therefore, the slope of this graph initially from 0 to 1 can be written as opposite side is 2 divisions means 2 v0, right? Because 1 division I have assumed v0 by the adjacent side is 0 to 1 which is 1 and gv value v has been given right so 10 so from here we came to know v0 is 5 now since we know v0 is 5 we can substitute to get the answer the mass was given as 60 kg right g value is 10 6 into 5 by 8 8 into 5 so here you can take LCM 8, this is 80 minus 30, this is 50 into 8 into 5, 8 gets cancelled minus 3000 into 5 which is minus 15,000 and the unit of power is watt, so it's minus 15 kilowatt. In the options if you see they just want to know the magnitude of the power, so the answer is 18 kilowatt.